Вот он стоит, мужики, летает. Дрон. Мы сейчас Галучина находимся. Сука, разведчик. Вот он. Сука. Вот он, сучара, разведывает. Кто куда убегает, он все убегают люди. Все, кто куда бегут. Он, сука, полетел. Пошел. Пошел, пошел. пошел. Бам, все. По военных пацанов он, блядь. Сука. Блять. Надо подъехать к пацану. Пом... Пацана, поднимем, поможем, блядь. Чтоб, чтоб живые были. Поехали. Сука. Второй может быть где-то сзади. Да, может быть, ты второй где-то летает. Да, сейчас полетим. Но вроде второго не видно, мужики. Вот только что, блядь, пацана пролетела. А, мы... Ну все, на камеру увидели. А они вон с... Да, они все выскочили, выскочили да? да? Ага, вот он, блядь. Так надо вот он, сука. Они Горит, выскочили, пацаны. Горит. А, говорит, пацаны выскочили, успели. А, вот они, пацаны. Молодцы, пацаны, успели, короче. Короче, может... Опасное тут дело, блядь. Такие-то вот дела уголочно творится. Все туда. До новых встреч, бродяги. Путин missed his chance to crush Ukraine before US elections. Putin may have missed an opportunity to score a decisive military victory at the front before the presidential election in the United States. Francis Dianli writes about this in an article for The Telegraph. He recalled President Joe Biden's speech on the anniversary of D-Day, in which he linked the war in Ukraine with the sacrifice his compatriots made 80 years ago, as well as permission to use American weapons on Russian territory. Ukraine recently struck the command center in Belgorod, Russian ships in the port of Taganrog, and, in its most symbolic triumph, one of the Kremlin's most modern and expensive aircraft, the Su-57 fighter. Dian Lee notes that these attacks alone do not change the strategic situation, but together with the attacks on Russian oil depots, they demonstrate that, logistically, Ukraine has reached a tipping point where it can no longer be defeated. In addition, recently approved aid from the United States is already arriving at the front and the Czech Shell initiative is moving quickly. The critical window of opportunity when Moscow outnumbered and outgunned Kiev has almost certainly passed, and as November approaches, it will cost Vladimir Putin dearly politically. His goal was to carry out a significant invasion of Ukraine before America went to the polls and putting Biden in an awkward position and obliging whoever wins the White House to force Kyiv into peace talks, he added. According to the journalist, it is worth re-evaluating the period that followed the Ukrainian counter-offensive which failed. It should now be seen as a highly effective defense and a potentially decisive military victory. Let us recall that Washington has long resisted Ukraine's request to allow American weapons to be used on Russian territory. They announced the lifting of this ban after more than 10 NATO countries supported the right of Ukrainians to defend themselves in this way. After this, a number of successful attacks on the positions of the occupiers on Russian territory were reported. The mayor of Kharkov, Igor Terekov, said that this helped reduce the intensity of shelling in the city. At least three Russian servicemen were killed and ten houses were damaged during the explosion of a Russian bomb in Shebakino town in Belgorod region on Thursday evening. According to Ukrainian telegram channels, ammunition to Solsapiak TOS belonging to Russian troops exploded, causing the large-scale destruction. Earlier, it was reported that the explosion was caused by Russian troops accidentally dropping KAB laser-guided bomb on the town. Video footages shared in Telegram app show the site of destruction, smoke emerging from the city, as well as rescuers working in the area of destruction. Russian media reported the blast but there have been no official comments from Kremlin about the incident yet. Nor has there been any confirmation that the blast had been caused by Russia. It should be noted that Belgorod region that borders Ukraine's Kharkiv region is frequently targeted by Ukrainian drones. In the latest of such attacks in early May, six people were killed and 35 others were injured. The past six months have seen increased Ukrainian drone attacks on Russian territory. 
These attacks have predominantly been focused on Russia's energy infrastructure and oil plants, as Ukraine believes Western sanctions on Russia's oil and gas industry have proven ineffective. Ukraine also says the long-range attacks on Russian territory are in response to Kremlin's targeting Ukraine's civilian infrastructure and energy grids that have left millions of people without electricity and heating.